One of the main advantages of working with GIS Water it's because it uses the Arc Node topology. This allows us to move a node and therefore move the conduits associated with that node. Let's see how it works. We have the junctions layer, we enter edition mode, we zoom in to see better this area. For example, we select this node. We move it here just to see how it works. And when I save the changes, the conduits follow the node exactly where I placed it. If I want to see this on EpaSwim, all I have to do is export this file and open it on EpaSwim. There, we generated the INP file. So, through EpaSwim, we open the INP file that we created. And there we have it, the changes we did before in the GIS.